Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the King George's Hall here in Blackburn, wherever you are watching the darts right around the world via pictures beamed from the Eurosport TV network across the UK, across Europe, and as far away as Australia and New Zealand. This is the BDO World Trophy. And our action continues this afternoon as Denmark and Belgium now tow the Oki together. Game number three, firstly to make his walk to the stage from Glostrup, Denmark, the 2017 Gibraltar Open champion. It's Bright Light, Brian Lockhart. And now to make his way to the hockey, the reigning German Open champion from Belgium, Mario van den Bergade. So, game number three of our afternoon, Denmark versus Belgium. It's the best of nine legs, the first to five to progress on through. Your referee in charge is Harry Smith. Mario, the favourite for this one. Plenty of hugs and kisses for him as he made Broder. his way to the stage. He's brought a hell of a team with him, hasn't he? Yeah. Five to two on, quoted for this one. Always look on the light side, bright side of life for Brian Locken. That was the music from Life of Brian. Correct. Good job we didn't have the whole of the song, otherwise we might be getting into trouble with one or two people. <laughs> when you look at it. Could you imagine that? <laughs> well... The Belgian is uh, justifiably the favourite for this. He's been around a, a long time. He was a, nation, a Belgium national singles winner back in 2005. He was in the World Cup singles in 2003. So he's been around a while and it's, it's not anybody I can... You know, he was around during my era and I don't... It's not a player I Whoa. remotely remember. Could be a dozen. I think with a name like that, I'd remember it. I'm just going to check. Oh, no, never played him. 85. He's never lost to Richard Wienstra. How about that for a record? How many has he won? Two. Oh. One this year, one last year. So he, he might be a, a late bloomer. Yeah, Maybe a dark horse. Hmm. The bookies seem to know a bit about it, making him a, a two to five shot. Beat a guy called Martin Kleermacher in the final 16. of that German Open. Very, very good player. Made the last 16 of the World Masters last year. Did Mario. Good leg this, John. Turn 140, 140. Great start. 
140. Mary and 121, a doable checkout. Trouble 17 needed, he's got it. So the bull. 96. Missed by a lot, did it? Mm -hmm. In case you wondered, the rather eccentrically dressed Jackie, of course, is a Belgian, so he'll be getting very excited about Mario's would-be progress. Mario, you require 25. Double eight. Nine. Brian, you require 116. Not looked in this leg at all. Could, if he finds a trouble, have a dart to nick it. And he's going to. Double 18 for a break of throw. Yes, that game shot on the first leg. Brian Locker. Second leg is Brian to You almost taught that one in, Chris. Yeah. Prescience, that's the word for I, that. I didn't have this one in my acca. John, I didn't, I didn't fancy at all. And I didn't fancy Mario at two to five at all. Well, it's a very uh, niggardly price, isn't it? 45. Mm. So there was a gap, John. He, he just must have, must just have quit. From 2008. From 2006, it didn't throw a dart until the Belfry Open. In 2018, there's a 12-year gap. Prior to that, competed in the World 25. Masters. So we could well have just fell out of love with the game and, and has made a, a successful comeback. This is impressive. Perhaps he was pra he practicing all along on the yeah. quiet. Well, he had a chance to go out in 14 and 15 darts in the first leg. And he's down to 1 8 1 after 6 in this one. He's human. 125. Pretty handy. What a leg of darts this is. Nine darts down to 56. So this is to break Mario, back. You require 56. Six darts. They only need two. There you go. Yeah, that that darts. The How do you like leg, that? Mario van der Bogart. Third leg, it is Mario to throw first. Game. Currently averaging 113, John, after two legs. Handy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought put it a little bit higher still. Well, you know you're playing well when you hit a ton and your average comes down. 40. Three oh eight plays three seven eight. For peppering those travels. Twenty eight. They love what he's doing. He's absolutely flying. Super Mario, nine darts down to one eighty. Against Lockens three seven 60. eight minus sixty. Three one eight. So one eighty required. Watch he doesn't bust. Like a magnet. 40. Just had an 11 darter. He's poised for a 13 darter now. 60. Mario, you require 40. 
tops to go ahead. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, on the third leg, Mario van der Bogaard. Fourth leg, it is Brian to throw first. Game on. Average dropped a bit there. He's averaging 31 points more than his opponent. Brian averaging 58. 77. Mario, 108.8. Eight. Very high quality well, indeed. Durant, 103 and change highest ever average. Could be. Could be in danger, John. 16. Well, you'll be able to greet uh, Glenn with that yeah, piece of information the moment he walks through the door tonight. <laughs> yeah, you know that. <laughs> My prediction is he ends up with something around about 95, but there we go. Not if he keeps peppering the treble like this. It's, it throws a little bit yippy, and I wonder if that's why there was a gap that he, he got the dreaded dartitis and then quit and then decided one day, oh, I wonder if I can throw. Can you not mention the Y word when you're sitting alongside <laughs> me, please? Now, your putting's a bit yippy, isn't it, John? It has been known to be. 60. Let's say I'm better from eight feet than two feet. 22. Get into the green's not the problem. <laughs> I have the problem getting it, you know, when it's on the green in the hole. <laughs> I feel like taking a, a cue. Yeah, the distance isn't the problem. It's when you get there and you've got the touch of the max murderer. That's great darts. 116. For 3 1. Let's put that in with the other two fives. 116. 116 then for a break of throw. Good dart. Double 18. Oh, yes, superb. 116. He, re he repaid Brian for the one he took out in the first leg to, to pinch it off of him. 106 and a half average. Two legs away. Great adjustment from darts. One to two. Couldn't follow it up with the third. After saying, very, very impressed so far. One hundred. The bookies have their sources. Hmm. It's quite just quite a bizarre first first ranking event, two thousand and two. 140. A year later, didn't play in anything for a year, then played Spring Cup, Antwerp Open, World Cup singles, 2003, World Masters, 2003, last 128 for the game. And then played 2003, played three events in 2004, three events in 2005, and quit in 2006. Well, he's back here and throwing as well as anybody has on this opening afternoon. He's back with a bang. Eighty-five. One sixty-one required. But he'll just be setting it up anyway. He wouldn't have gone for that ball out. 57. Brian Lockens had three quarter final appearances this year. 137. Mario, you require 104. 104 for 4 1. Forty. 
40. Brian, you require 122. Need of the treble 18 there. 90. It's a good lead. Mario, you require 64. So, 64 now for 3 1. Locking on 32. Brian, you require 32. Going to pinch another one off him. <clears throat> or maybe not. Yes, oh, yeah. game shot in the fifth leg. Good adjustment. Brian Worked his way in. Mm. Sixth leg, and it's Brian to throw first. 3 2. Game. 3 2, Van den Bogard leads. Mentally, is, is, he looks sound. His reaction to losing legs that he should have won is... Well, you can't fault it. He's, he's, come, he's come out of the blocks instantly after losing a leg that he should won and, and powered on. 54. When you said he's, you, you reckon his throws a little bit on the, the yippy side, mm -hmm. we just watch his... Uh, watch that was his... perfect, but you watch. There we go, starting to get a little bit of shoulder, the back leg's trying to come round, and there we go. The lift, the lift on, on, on really I mean, ultimately it happens when the dart's out the hand, um, but it will, you know, it will slowly start to creep in more where it starts to, you start to try and affect 100. the dart upon release. Um, and more likely to get on the fly. creep into your game when yep. you're under pressure. Exactly that. And it's, it just comes and goes with him. It comes and goes. So it's obviously a, well, it is a mental thing, we know. That's what ultimately made Eric Bristow's career so short. And it was incredible that he went on to make, well, the semi final in 1997, but in the 90s, 80, 84, 85, 86, he won him three on the spin. Should really have won in 87. Um, and then made made two finals, and it was he had it horrific. If that one, if that wouldn't have come, I mean, how many world titles would he have won? Ten. But it just seemed to 95. leave him for that one week at the Circus Tavern in the world in 1997, and he he played lovely. And he had Taylor in absolute bits in that semi-final. <laughs> 30. Brian, you require 151. Paul, our MC this weekend. Very close to Eric. Used to tour the country doing the exhibitions and public appearances. Yep, certainly did. They used to do like a, a VIP thing at all the big events, 87. didn't they? And he would entertain the, Mary, the, hospi no, the hospitality. Big room. Eric would play against those that were in the hospitality area. Another leg here, potentially blown average. Six. Plummeting. Brian, you require yes. 64. 64 then. Oh, now, is this the moment? Fritz, yes, three all. Yes, game show on the sixth leg. Brian Locken. It was all going Seventh perfectly for Mario Super Mario. But Locken right back in it. See why I didn't like any of that two to five, John. What did he say his average was going to wind up at? 95. Where's he now? 57. 96. <laughs> Potentially would be lower than that. Forty-four. Well, averages don't win games. Doubles do. And I should imagine his double stats 
fairly poor. 99. And this is a must hold leg. Drops this one. Brian will be throwing for the match. 140. Big visit puts him on to a finish. 41. Mario, you require 164. Winner of this looking for a place in the next round against either Michael Unterbuckner, talented German, or Roger Janssen, someone who, well, a few players don't like facing him. 've been out of action this season Janssen. 69 Mario you require 64 Unterbunkner is a very backable one to three John <clears throat> for four three 48 he'll be back yeah another miss double 59. Mario, you require right 16. Then, for full three, to go within one of a place in round two. Hmm. Guides or blockers? Yes! Yeah. Oh, guides. Game shot, the seventh leg. Mario Jackie Lander liked that one. Eighth leg, it is Brian to throw first. Game on. Nice to see the players wearing the Prostate cancer badge there on the on the lapel. One hundred and forty. Ninety-seven. a bit flicky. Will he be punished? Or is this one going to the hill? 94. Should I say hill hill? Doesn't look like it. throws under pressure again another break of throw and it's all over yeah. he's down to 170 96 Mario you require 170 Six darts at it. Sixty. So 110 for the match. Oh, no. Den Bogardy is a, an actual, is an actual place, John. Is it? Brian, you mm. require 78. In Belgium. Is that the correct pronunciation? I, I wouldn't know. I'd have to go and ask Jackie. Because Van is from, of course. With all the Dutch names, it's their name and from the area, the region. And uh, yeah, that's a region Mario in Holland. Amazing what the internet can tell you. Except he's Belgian. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the that's game shot. Shot. And that's it. The Belgian marches on. Tops to take it out. The Belgian contingent in the crowd celebrate. 
noisily and enthusiastically. And he's marching on to that place in the last 16 and wins the match there by five legs to three. Congratulations to Mario van den Bogod safely through to the last 16. Now, first things first, and the guys in commentary were talking about it. You've had, what, 12 years yes. away from the game, and you come back in style. So why did you take so much time away? I come back for my wife. She said, Mario, you play very well. Come, we stay and we play. I come back and uh, every time, every time I play, I enjoy and just enjoy. You no, know, the pressing on my shoulders from play from Belgium. I was five years number one from Belgium, and every time the pressure on you and I was broken. I was just broken. And now so you had I'm enough just, and took a break and you're back and yeah, enjoying it. Yeah, just enjoy, just enjoy the game. Yeah. It was an interesting match yeah. because it could have gone either way, and given that what you said about enjoying it and relaxing were yeah. you you seem relaxed were you inside were you quite nervous about the way the game yeah, was going i was nervous i was nervous it was just uh, the first time i played to brian locken i have uh, uh and uh, play on denmark and he was uh, not there and i i go to sweden he was there and i go further than him and now i say just play your game. And I play very good. I miss my doubles. I miss my doubles. Say, ma, 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 ma. It didn't matter in Damn. the end. A lot of Belgian fans, yeah, yeah, very yeah, vocal yeah. and loud yes, Belgian fans, and you, yeah. thank, you thanked each one. They come with eight people for me, for the support for me. That's it must mean a lot that they're behind it's you. It's in my heart. It's in my heart. What next for you, Mario, now? Because here at the World Trophy, the games come thick and fast. What are you going to do now? Yeah, for me, it was embassy. Just play embassy. I have very many uh, good good players on Belgium. They play the embassy, and I was fifth years number one on Belgium, and I was not there. I say on myself, "Come on, Mario, Help play and play," and I stay there. Uh, just uh, I'm happy. Just yeah. happy. Yeah. I bet you are. Well, congratulations Thank into you. the next round, you. and you could go all the way. Well played. Uh, a fantastic performance from this man. There'll be plenty more on the stage as we hand back now to our MC this afternoon, Mr. Paul Booth.